Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing 10 foods you should avoid eating while breastfeeding. These foods will either cause you to not produce as much milk, they cause fussiness in the baby. There's so many other reasons why you should actually limit or avoid these types of foods. All right, so these first five foods are super hard for me because I love all of them and I'm sure it's something that we all add to our diet or we all eat. So number one is going to be caffeine. So for me, I am a heavy coffee drinker, but something we don't realize is caffeine is in things like sodas and some chocolates um, some foods even have caffeine so we have to really make sure um, we're checking like teas if it has caffeine in it because sometimes it can really upset baby's stomach a lot of times too caffeine will actually mess with their wake sleep cycle which if you have a newborn you definitely do not want to mess with that especially at the end of the night um, if you're pumping and you pump in the morning while you have caffeine and you go to give that baby a bottle at night and it messes with their sleep schedule that's probably why they're staying awake so caffeine is one of those you want to limit or avoid all right another food that I reduced and actually eliminated from my diet I I'm still working on it because again it's one of those you don't really realize that it's almost in everything we eat and consume we automatically think of just like the major things but that is dairy so for me I was like okay I don't really drink whole milk anyway so that's not a problem I do eat yogurt um, so I had to switch to like non-dairy options for yogurts and obviously my cheese but you have to think about bread um, there's like things that obviously are made like cakes have dairy products in them so you really have to just like think of overall your diet and that's probably I thought caffeine was gonna be the hardest for me to get rid of but dairy was so hard just because it's in everything that I eat but this again will cause um, stomach irritability or gut issues with baby another thing too it does take about two weeks for dairy to actually leave your system and once you like completely cut out dairy so you really have to like wait it out when you go through the like elimination process so when you get rid of everything don't try to add it in or think like it's not working you really have to wait you know two to two and a half weeks Weeks to see if it really adjusts for baby and then you can slowly start adding things back in to see like what's affecting them or what's not all right this next one is something that I love and that's broccoli but broccoli just like in us can cause us to blow have gas issues things like that you also have to think of like Brussels sprouts or anything like in the vegetable gassy category that same effect that it has on us has on babies but this is one of those things you really want to limit or avoid especially if your child already has gut issues or super crabby um, or has any type of of colicky symptoms you probably want to get rid of all of those gassy foods like broccoli and Brussels sprouts okay so this next one was actually on my list of 10 foods you should be eating um, while breastfeeding because it's really high in omega-3s and it's really good for you you have to be careful with which ones you're eating so that's fish some fish are high in mercury and that's not good for anybody to tell you the truth but it's especially not healthy for a baby so we have to make sure there is a list um, the FDA actually just revised um like how much you should be eating and like what fish has like what mercury counts so there's like a super high there's a moderate and there's a low mercury count you want to stick to low mercury count fish and i believe it was like 18 to 20 ounces a week i could be wrong um, i'll put it on the screen like the screenshot of what the fda says and i'll link it down below so if you want to read that article a little bit more because i'm a fish lover when it comes to like salmon which is actually a good one so if you want to eat fish try to stick to salmon um, but there's other ones like mackerel that are bad for you this goes for any sushi lovers just make sure you're paying attention to what type of fish they're using in your sushi um, and stay away from the high mercury count ones all right number five Five was it wasn't hard for me to get rid of but it was an adjustment to my palate and that is spicy food and spices so you have to think like peppers um, garlic stuff like that so I come from a very I guess eclectic background I'm Creole so the Cajun spice my mom is Spaniard so you have that Mexican spice and I like how to give it up because of my poor baby having like such fush, like fussy issues. I like my food spicy and they're still developing their you know organs are super small they can't handle it like us and I'm sure when I was a kid I couldn't handle what I can handle now it was like a gradual stepping stone to get to spicier food so it's the same thing with your children too us you know the acid reflux and I don't know if any of you guys have had any type of reflux issues but when that 
like burning sensation hits like it doesn't feel good for us so imagine that for little ones all right so this next one is fruit and i know that is funny because fruit is actually supposed to be good for us but i'm talking more of like citrusy fruits so like lemons oranges stuff it's the same type of issue it's going to mess with their gi tract and cause irritability um, and stomach issues as well all right and then number eight is going to be any type of processed foods these foods contain ingredients that aren't necessarily good for us they have preservatives that can be heavy and harsh on baby's stomach and GI tract. So you wanna make sure you're trying to stay away from processed foods as much as possible. All right, so this next one is going to be sugary foods. And I totally get it because as a breastfeeding mom, you have breastfeeding cravings. And I was eating a box, you guys, of graham cracker cookies, or I guess they're crackers, but they taste like cookies in a day, like while breastfeeding, because especially those first like two weeks because your baby's cluster feeding and the pregnancy cravings are so real. But sugary foods, has been known to be linked to obesity um, in the later years. Try to avoid that and have healthier children and healthier adults. You want to try to stay away from the sugary foods. All right, and the last one is alcohol. You have to just be careful. So this is one of those foods you want to limit. You don't have to necessarily get rid of. I totally get it, especially as a mom. I have a toddler as well. Like having that glass of wine at night really just takes the edge off of a full day of mom life. But you want to limit and really make sure you are careful when you are feeding your baby. First of all, pump and dump doesn't work. I hate that that term exists um, because you cannot drink alcohol, pump, dump your milk, and feed your baby, and the alcohol is gone. That's not how it works. You have to wait for the blood to circulate or the alcohol to circulate out of your bloodstream and out of your system. So it's the same exact thing with baby. So if you drink a normal drink, not like you have a cup and you fill it all the way up, you really have to think of the ounces. I think it's eight ounces of beer, five ounces of wine, a two ounces of hard liquor. That is one serving size. So that's one serving size. It takes an hour to filter out of your system. And then they actually add on an extra hour just to make sure it's completely out of your system. So if you have a drink, you want to wait about two, three hours you're in the clear to feed your baby again, which normally that's when babies sleep anyway. Just make sure you're waiting for the alcohol to filter out of your system um, because we don't want any of that. You obviously don't want drunk babies around here or anything, but alcohol could also upset their stomach as well, depending on what it is. Like if you drink a beer, beer causes bloating in us, it may cause bloating in baby as well. But the most important thing is you don't want your children to have the effect of the alcohol. All right guys, but that is my really quick video on 10 foods you should be avoiding while you are breastfeeding. If you guys guys missed my 10 foods you should be eating while breastfeeding, I will go ahead and leave it up on the screen here so you can go ahead and click on that. And if you are new and you want to see more motherhood and lifestyle related videos on helping you navigate motherhood, you can go ahead and click the circle icon up above and subscribe for free. But as always guys, I love you and I will see you in the next video.